What's going on everybody? Rob here, aka Trev 2323. Don't mind me, I got a bedhead here. It's actually not bedhead today, it's because I was outside all day and had my hat on. Uh, this is about amperage. Amperage, and you know, uh, for your house, uh, because I'm having an issue with my big microwave that we didn't have the problem with before, and also my wife's Keurig, and also my Keurig. And here's a refrigerator here and people want to know how much power especially in older homes our house is our house is over 100 years old so a lot of this wiring is new in here although people normally don't have two Keurigs and we have uh, two Keurigs now one thing about these big honking microwaves these big new microwaves I got a two-speed fan on here that vents out plus the microwave plus what else plus the the lights underneath it these big honking microwaves are not like your old little college microwaves or your microwaves from back in the day. This sucker right here uses 2400 watts. This right here, you know if you got a little plug-in heater like in the side, you know, that, that you could use for extra heat. Those baseboard heaters, the plug-in ones are, you know, 1000 watts, 1500 watts. This microwave is 2400 watts, so this microwave itself needs to be on its own breaker, a 20 amp breaker with 12 gauge wire. I'm not an electrician, this is just stuff that I've been looking up, but I want to let you know if you're adding some Keurigs to your uh, place. Now these Keurigs, this is a newer Keurig than this one. This is the older Keurig, I use my coffee in this one. My wife used her tea in this one. Now these Keurigs right here, they're running about 1500 watts for three minutes when they start up. One guy says he he measured it and it started out at 2000 watts and at 1500 watts. So about 750 watts is about six, seven amps, six or seven amps and 750 watts. So you figure if you had a 20 amp breaker, two Keurigs just starting, that's when they're just starting, are taking 14 amps, which would be equivalent because you need some break, some buffer in your in your uh in your dang uh, uh on, your, on your circuit breaker box so if the big hunk of microwave this 2400 watt microwave should be on its breaker by itself if you have one it should be on the breaker by itself and by far this right here should not be on the same breaker as a keurig let alone two keurigs now a lot of people think in the kitchen the refrigerator is the big energy hog a lot of people say the refrigerator is the big energy hog well believe it or not the refrigerator is about uh, 725 watts so it's running off of about seven amps so if you have this on here at about seven amps well this right here with the keurig and startup that's that's kind of all right you're going right there but you got to watch also because in the older homes when they have outlets they run outlets on the same outlet goes up into the wall and is broken off on some two different sides of the wall. So you they got to sell little testers that you could test with. But on the other side of this wall is a bathroom. And in the bathroom, if you use a hair dryer or a curling iron, guess what? Those suckers are pulling a thousand watts, twelve hundred watts. So that's an, you know another you know eight amps, seven, eight, nine amps. So I'm just trying to say is with the Keurigs, people are trying to figure out, well, how much is the Keurig? I keep blowing my breaker with a Keurig. Well, if you keep blowing your breaker with your Keurig, you have too much on that line and you are going to have to, you know, sh shut the breaker off. And if you're not comfortable with it, if you're not an electrician or you're not comfortable with it, but if you have the, the circuit breakers, you can shut a breaker off and then see what else, try to plug in a little light or whatever to see what's on the same line as that breaker. So you have your Keurig on, you shut the breakers off so you find out what's on that Keurig, and then you figure out what's on that same line with your Keurig. Now, if the Keurig is just staying warm, keeping it warm, it's not using the, the, the it's not being that electricity monster as the first three minutes, but the first three minutes, are gonna be your most and they're running at about a thousand to fifteen hundred watts and they're they're pulling uh uh I'd venture to say right there would be uh uh seven twelve maybe twelve amps fourteen amps twelve twelve amps probably is what it's pulling but uh I'm trying to lose my train of thought here I just want to let you know that if you got the big huge honking microwaves check when you buy your microwave look and research your amps and how much break you got in that breaker. And if you get one of these big 2400 watt one, your food is like this, it's set on, 
it's hot and everything. You got the fan, the exhaust, you got the lights, the night lights and all that, but it's 2,400 watts. It needs its own 20 amp breaker. Don't put that on the same line or don't expect to be running this with the Keurig or two. Not only that, if you got your uh, Keurig in your refrigerator, that's that's right about okay because it's not constant power when that Keurig is on. But I just told my wife, I says, you know, if we're, if, if we're starting to Keurig, start them up, make your stuff or whatever, then just really don't leave it on if the whole day if you're not going to use it. All right. Either way, I wanted to help you all with that a little bit because, you know, I, I got a hundred and something year old house and we're doing a lot of updates. And uh, one thing I had to research really a lot before we put this big honking microwave in was running this. Uh, microwave with the Keurig and I know a lot of people are buying Keurigs not necessarily this big honk of microwave either way subscribe like and share bye-bye